Eve Nation. Happy Monday. Monday is my mentoring day. Man, it's been awesome. Um, connecting with everybody on my team, seeing how they're doing. Thankfully, everybody's safe, um, happy, building, getting getting still used to Corona and everybody just working from home. But um, yeah, I love it. I love having one day per week that I just focus on mentoring the people on my team, helping them grow, helping them get better, helping them improve. Um, welcome. Who we got in the house? Welcome. Zachary, Antonio, Steve, Ribatasso. I hope I pronounced that okay. Uh, Roberta, Rossi, Gaurav. Welcome, 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 welcome. I love it. I love seeing, I love seeing some familiar faces. I love seeing some new faces as well. Uh, waiting for a friend of mine to join in. I don't see him yet here. So until then, give me some questions. Pop some questions down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you, to give some value. Eduardo, welcome. Tidy butt in the house. All right, way to go. Tidy butt. I like it. Uh, hi, says Rossi Reads. Ed, giving a thumbs up. I love it. Welcome aboard. Time flies. Yikes. Time time does fly. Yikes, indeed. Yikes, indeed. How are you making the most of your time today? Make sure you get activity happen, moving your business forward. Make today count. That's what I try to wake up every day. Just make today count. Make today count. I want to make something today that my grandkids are going to be proud of. Make today count. Not tomorrow. Not I was going to say not Monday. It is Monday. Not next Monday. Not the weekend. Not next year. Not after your vacation. Today. Make it count. Stephen is here. All right. I see Stephen. Where, let's see. Where are you in the chat, Stephen? Let's bring you in. Stephen. Stephen. Stephen Hall. Stephen Hall. Here it comes. Waiting for Stephen Hall. Waiting on you, Stephen. Click accept. John Lee in the house. Welcome, John. Appreciate you. Happy Monday. Tips on what to do and not to do. Breakthrough on IG. Honestly, make the account that um, make the account that you needed five years ago. Like, think about who you used to be. Think about who you used to be. The problems that you were facing, and then make the account that that person needs. Talk to your former self, Stephen. It's not letting me in. It's not letting you in. It says, wait, you got to click accept. Hold on, let's try it again. Let's cancel on him here. Steve, I'm going to send you another one. I'm going to send you another one. Where's Steven? Steven Hall. Okay, here we go. It says, wait for Steven. All right, here we go. Giuseppe, welcome aboard. Lily, welcome aboard. Ronopoli in the house. I love it. Yeah, make the account that you used to need, right? Big ass forehead. Should I go in more? You want to see more forehead? Or forehead, sending you love, man. Sending you love. Great advice, no problem. Antonio, should I should I make a separate IG for my art or make a website and direct people towards it? Depends if it's the same audience. If it's the same audience, then keep it on the same channel. If it's the same audience, keep it on the same channel. Loved your Martin Garrix video. Thanks. That one didn't do so well, but um, it's got a hardcore audience. That um, it, it was a fun one to put together. Hey, there he is. Hey, I think I'm here. Yeah, you're here. You made it. What what a beautiful background. Where are you? I'm on Lopez Island in Washington. It's uh, 13 miles long and three miles wide. That's amazing. I love it. <laughs> well, you have to come visit me. I'm not. I'm not allowed anywhere right now. My wife has me on like massive lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Got it. So awesome. So you're part of the movement makers that we've got going on. Um, amazing. What uh, What do you got? How can I help? Well, I'm launching a business. Um, we talked about it briefly. Uh, it's all about circulation. So um, external counter pulsation is what the technology is called, and basically. Um, it's been stuck in the cardiology field for years and years and years. It was FDA and Medicare approved in 1996. And uh, what I've done is we're taking it out of the cardiology world because circulation uh, improves everything in, in the body. And we're reinventing the technology. I've got new machines coming out in 2021. Um, so 
I just need a, a little bit of exposure. I need to be able to help people. I mean, anybody that's suffering from anything that's related to their circulation, um, this is a fantastic technology. Um, my biggest win lately is uh, an 89-year-old guy um, that had neuropathy in his feet. He only had about 5% feeling. Wow. And uh, he fell down and did a compression factor of T9 and uh, broke his back. And after 35 sessions, we were able to get him back 50% feeling in his feet. And now he says he doesn't walk like a duck anymore, and his exercise tolerance has gone up 15%. So, I mean, that's huge. So I'm very, very blessed to be able to do that kind of thing, and I'm very, very blessed to be able to connect with you and your your community and uh, make this available to people. So, I mean, last time we had a couple of connections issues, but we, I started giving some advice kind of afterwards. Did you listen in on that afterwards? I did. I didn't. I've been reading your book. I love it. it. It's totally there. Totally. Totally what I need to be doing. Thank you. Okay, so we got uh, Search Goodyear Homes in the House saying, how do you help with circulation? I'm interested for my mom. Cool. Um, bear with me one second. I'm just being requested here. <clears throat> okay, I'm turning you off, all right? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. My mother's on the technology right now, and one of the things it does is it pumps your uh, pumps your lymph system, which makes you want to go to the bathroom. So um, I got to get her off of the machine so she can go to the bathroom. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so this is live, 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 live. So how it works is it it works like a blood pressure cuff. So it basically squeezes your calf, your thigh, and your, uh, and your hips sequentially to drive all the blood up into the rest of your body, and it's pulsed towards your heart. So we've got three little leads on you, and that gets your heart beat, and it's counter pulsation to the heart. So that's what we're doing. I'm setting up a clinic here in Lopez. Since it's COVID, and we're keeping it private. Um, but as soon as uh, things start to open up, I have plans to do um, at least another four or five clinics, and I want to partner up with entrepreneurs to help them set these clinics up. I've got six machines sitting in a warehouse that I can bring out. They're all old, but they do the job. And how much does the machine cost? Well, I'm not selling the machines. Um, part of the reason why the technology did not get um, distributed properly is they kept it in the cardiology world and the machines were about $80,000 a piece. So, I mean, it's a huge investment. What I'm going to do is oh, the this closest business model is like Massage Envy. So you'll buy a subscription of, you know, 10, 20 high-tech massages and uh, you come in and, and get your massage, get your results and, and we track them. You know, what, what's going on? So oh, that's my my way to make it. If I want to set up clinics, um, hotel spas, why, why not, regenerative not, medicine. Yeah, like why not connect with people who already have clinics, but they don't have this technology? Sorry, you're breaking up a little bit. I think I think yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. No, okay, we're back. Um, why not partner with people who already have a clinic but, but don't have this? Like, why can't you be an extension of somebody's existing clinic instead of setting up your own clinic from scratch? I love the way you think. Yes, exactly. I wanted to co-locate with uh, chiropractors, regenerative uh, medicine clinics, uh, hotel spas. So that's, that's the business plan is we co-locate instead of having to, you know, build all the infrastructure ourselves. Plus, that allows us to offer our services to their clients, and then we can offer their services to our clients. Yeah. Okay. So, so in the chat, um, someone's saying, I know awesome circulation doctors in Arizona. So if, mm -hmm. if there's a circulation doctor in Arizona who doesn't have this tech and could use this tech, could you get it out to Arizona? Sure. Yeah. 
it needs to go wherever there are people that need improved circulation, which is just about everywhere. Right. And, and then it's just a matter of financing it. Like, how do you go from six machines to 6,000 machines? The other thing maybe you can advise me on, I was planning on using crowdfunding like Indiegogo or Kickstarter or something like that. Um, I think I think you just need to find a financing option for companies. Like, it costs 80K to buy. It costs, how much is Sorry, it my signal box? doesn't seem to be all that strong. Yeah. What's that? It costs, you said it costs 80K to buy? Oh, we lost it. No, 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 no. <laughs> We were close. We were close. I'm not, I'm not a fan of, of kick, Kickstarter this. I think, I think it's too, I think this is actually a lot easier than Kickstarter. Hold on, let's see if we can get it back in here. Let's see if we can get it back in here. I think this is a lot easier than Kickstarter. Waiting for Steven. Okay, we're going to bring it back in. I think it's a lot easier than Kickstarter. Hey, hey, are we back? We're seeing your wall. Yeah, we're back. I think his signal is poor. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's he's on an island. He's on an island. He's living the island life. We're seeing your wall. We're, we're, oh, no, we lost her again. Okay, hold on. Let's try one more time. Doctor said he can't help her. It would be a miracle if she can if. If you can improve her circulation. Um, okay, so look up. Let me find his let me find his name again too here. It's Stephen Hall. Stephen, where do you want people to go? Like if they're curious about you, your your IG name is is crazy long. I'm gonna read it out just for everybody if you want to get in touch. Stephen S T E V E N Hall H A L L. But then I think it's a phone number, four two five seven seven zero nine four six six. So that's how you can get in touch. Um, I'll save this IG so you can you can reply, uh, you can you can watch the replay. Hey, he's back. We've seen the wall again. Yeah, yeah. No, we're losing him. Steven, your internet. I think I think the internet on the island is not fantastic for for video. Here's what I would do though. I would do uh, Kickstarter is definitely the way to go, but I think it's just um, too slow. I think what you want to do is, if it cost, I've, I think it's an 80K. I don't know if that's what the new ones are going to be. The new ones are going to cost as well going in. But what I would do is partner up with a financial institution and, and give funding for it. Because what you're doing is giving them a, a, something that's going to give, make them money, right? You're not just trying to fund some, some new you know, technology that's going to take forever to pay off. People will come in. They'll pay for a session. Right, where you mentioned that woman came in or that, that person came in and had 5% mobility and then after 35 sessions with you now has 50% mobility. It's crazy, right? So people are paying for the session. So we think with every device that they have in their clinic, it's gonna cost 80K maximum. Sorry, can't connect. That's okay, that's fine. It's okay. Well, let me, let me I'll go on this rant, or not this rant, maybe this bit of advice here. If it costs 80K, right, you can get that financed for the business, so for the for the massage business or the holistic um, practitioners, you want to be out of cardiology and people who are who are who are into this stuff. Partner with a financial institution, and it's going to get them money. Like you just have to show that for every device, how much is it going to be used during the day? How many people? Right, you create a business plan. How many times is this going to be used? How much is a session? Is a session a hundred bucks, two fifty, five hundred? I mean, how much is a session? Um, can it can it qualify under under people's um, uh, healthcare programs or not? Right, if it can, amazing. If it can't, it makes it a little more expensive for people. But if you try to Kickstarter it, and if you try to have your own clinics, it just adds so much time and complexity and cost versus being an add-on to somebody's existing business who already also has money coming in, already has a client base that they can sell it to. Right? Not that you have to go find some new client base and market yourself. You're not selling, right? Like I have a Dane studio here in Toronto. You don't want my Dane studio as a client because I have to go find new people to come in. It's people who already are selling to your target audience, right? So it's an add-on extra revenue for them. So all you need to do is figure out the business model. So when somebody gets one of your machines, first off, how, how many do they need, right? If it's just one machine, uh, how, do you, how much are they going to make in the first year? 
So how often is that machine being used? What's realistic business case? If they're, if they're charging 250 for a session, you can easily finance that loan. So financial institution, 80K loan, five-year term that gets paid off very easily, very quickly from actually putting it into people's offices and getting used for it. So all you have to do is show the business case for it. And then I don't know how long it takes you to ramp up production, right? Does it, does it, can you like, if you, if you had a thousand orders, a thousand clinics who wanted to work with you, how long does it take you to actually fulfill those thousand orders? But you're dealing with people who, who have a business, who are making money, who have clients already. And this is such a natural extension and add on. It's so much easier to go that route than to try to do Kickstarter or to try to build your own clinics. Um, Cause you, to, to build a clinic, you have to be, you have to, know how to run a clinic it's a whole other set of experience that adds a lot of other risk factors and just time and something you don't want to be you want to, you want to spread the technology you want the world to have better circulation right which helps solve a whole bunch of other issues so that's what i would really focus on so anybody who who at all cares about circulation if somebody doesn't care about circulation forget it don't talk to them I'm not interested but anybody who does uh talking to them even having them come see you or you go see them whatever uh, but then you finance it, it using bank money it, it's just so much easier because uh, you have a legit business case for it and it's an existing business that's already set up that should be that should be a slam dunk that should be not like super like massively easy but but um, especially the first ones way easier than trying to set up your own clinics Great advice. Medicare approved for older people would be great. Yeah, if you can get it approved, it can be hard with new, new, um, new technology. But circulation, if you can improve circulation, like we know that this can solve a lot of problems, right? So you're not, it's not some new, yes, it's new tech, I guess, but it's not, you're solving a problem that, that is a known issue. Um, but definitely, if you can get it covered on the Medicare, um, maybe not even for older people, just in general, right? If you can get it, if you can get it approved, it'll solve a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of problems too. Partnering with the established practice, exactly. I love your feedback. Um, thank you. Glad I helped, Stephen. Let me know if you, if you want to. That makes sense. You can put it in the chat, or if you have something else, another question, pop it down in the chat, and I'll I'll be happy to uh, go a little deeper. Um, I love how you listen. Uh, I'm an introvert, so I listen. I listen. That's that's one thing I'm good at. Um, I love the view. I see Steve Jobs. We got Steve Jobs here. We got Kanye here. Howard Schultz. Who else? We got my parents and me. Uh, EP Janini, and then another Steve Jobs. We're doubling up on the on the Steve Jobs. Definitely solving a huge problem. Yeah, and this is it, Stephen. It's such a big problem that you don't even need to educate people. Don't be in the education business. You want people who already care. You could sell a thousand machines to just people who already know the circulation is a problem and helping them solve the problem. The only education is that your, your technology can help improve it. You don't want to have to go into somebody's clinic and, and teach them why circulation is a big deal. That's just going to be, it, it's just, it can work. And ultimately that's the mission of your business. It's just such a long cycle and you need to be around. So I wouldn't, if, if the 10 closest clinics to you don't care about circulation, don't be in the business of trying to convince them. Trying to convince people is, is the worst thing ever. It just slows down your business and you spend uh, time working with non-ideal clients instead of if you focused your time, like the time it takes to convince somebody, you could have worked with 10 ideal clients and sold them your machines. So people who care about circulation already, people who understand that it's a problem, they just don't know that the tech exists those are the guys you want to be talking to and they'll buy it and you can get a finance, right? I don't know that many people will like 80 K here, drop it. I just got 80 K lying around, but it leads to business for them. You take out a loan, you create the business case. That should be easy. Make sense. Let me know, Steven. Um, what else? Nice, incredible artwork. Appreciate you. Yeah. People are asking, how do I buy these things? I mean, I don't know that you really want a picture of me and my parents. Like, you don't want this picture. You have no idea who this guy is. You maybe know who this guy is. Uh, so it's really Kanye and Steve Jobs. So I don't, I don't know that people, 
I've, I've thought about getting into the, the kind of art business because people keep asking me about how do I get those, but it's kind of weird. I don't think I want to sell pictures of my parents and me. <laughs> so you can have the same, you can have the same background. Focus on ideal clients, brilliant. Yeah, especially for something like this, right? I mean, at the beginning, entrepreneurs spend so much time, um, they spend so much time working on convincing people who, who just, it's part of your mission. This is a, this is the hard part. It's like, ultimately, he wants everybody to, to be on board with circulation. Also, like how many issues can improve circulation solve? Tons. There's no sound, turn up your volume, the sound, it's working. People are hearing it. But if you spend your time trying to convert the people who don't want to be converted, it's just, you're, you'll, you'll go bankrupt. You'll go bankrupt. So think about ideal clients at the beginning. It's so much easier because that gets you to the point where you can ultimately fund your big mission. Right, I want people to believe in themselves more. Right, this is the big mission I'm on. I'm never going to solve it. This problem is is never going to be solved, and I'm trying to unlock as many people as I can along the journey. But if all I did was focus on people who who hate entrepreneurship and hate personal development and hate learning and and feel like the world is terrible and is net, you know, people are 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 crappy human beings. If that's all I focus on, I could I could shift somebody. But it's going to take me like three years of working with one person to shift them <laughs> instead of actually doing the work to reach millions of people who are already ready to hear the message, right? So, so trying to convert the unconverted um, is the lifetime mission, but it doesn't get you paid and it doesn't help you get to the point where you can actually make that happen. Uh, I can hear you. Oh, there's sound now. <laughs> Welcome, Denise. Within the body, meditate. Now is all there is. I like it. I like it. Hey, you treat your life like now there are, now is all there is. You make better decisions. If you treat it today like today matters, like this Monday, but today matters. Today. Like you got to make something today that you're going to be proud of. It changes everything. You, so many people are putting things off. Tomorrow, the next week, the next month, the next year. It's today. Thank you for inspiring me. No problem. Good luck. That's what we're here for. Love the perspective. Got to be discerning. Um, anyway, Stephen, I hope that helped. I didn't see anything else in the chat. If you want to, if you want to put another question, or if that makes sense to you, um, I think I think that's a, I think that's a slam dunk for you, man. I'm super excited to get that out. Okay, let's let's uh, we got we got like three minutes. Let's do a couple of cool questions. How do you keep motivated? A lot of it is just doing work that you love, right? It's easy to get motivated for the things that you love doing. It's really hard to get motivated for things that you hate. So today I'm doing uh, my, all my mentoring. So I'm mentoring the people on my team. It's been nonstop all day. Um, after this, I'm going to be mentoring more people on my team. Uh, and I take a break to do this with you guys because I love it. I don't have to get motivated to do this because I'm excited. I like this. I'm pumped to talk to you. Now, if it was, um, you know, I don't know, making, making coffee cups or something, I wouldn't be motivated at all. If it was accounting, I wouldn't be motivated at all. I don't like accounting. I love people who love accounting. I'll hire them. I don't want to. I don't want to do the accounting, right? So a, a big thing that people try to do is they they try to in, uh, instill discipline to get them to do the things that they hate doing. Long term, it's not going to work out. You have to be motivated by the work. This, you guys here, this doesn't drain my energy. This is charging my battery. I'm taking the energy from this and I'm going to be in a better mood even to my next call with the next person. You guys are charging me. That's super important. Most of the things that it's, you analyze your tasks, analyze what you're working on, look at your calendar ahead for the rest of the day and see how many of the tasks you're going to do. How many of the people you're going to talk to, are they going to fill your battery, charge you, or are they going to drain you? And you want to be doing as much work as possible where it charges you instead of drains you, right? Period. So that's how you stay motivated. Deep down, it's got to be work that you love doing on a daily basis. Um, I am Anita D'Souza. How can we get mentoring from you if you're if we're not part of your team? Um, Movement Makers is probably the easiest bet. Twice a month, uh, we do live training, 85 minutes, answering your questions. Um, I think it's like 49 bucks a month, something super... I mean, it's not, it's not, I guess, super cheap, but it's not really expensive. Um, yeah, our next call is tomorrow. 
So that's how you get you get some awesome training. Um, let's do one more super quick one because I gotta go. What do you think about online clothing store in 2020? I think it's great. But more than any specific business idea, like Stephen's idea is great too. What do I think about improving circulation? I think it's great. What's more important than the idea is your connection to the idea, right? Stephen deeply cares about this mission. Look, he's using it on his mom, right? He's, he's there with his mom using it. He believes in the technology. It's not just, oh, I, I have this technology that... Um, I think it help people, but really I'm just trying to make money, right? He's, he's living it. He loves it. He knows that it works. Same thing. You, if you're doing an online clothing store, can it work a thousand percent? But do you love it? Do you love clothes? Do you love the designs that you're bringing up? Do you love helping dress people, right? If you do, then fantastic. Yes, yeah, great idea. If you don't, then if it's just a strategy for you, you're going to lose. Because it's hard enough to get a business off the ground. It's hard to get a business off the ground add in that you don't love it and you're going to compete against people who love it, you're going to lose. So the energy that, that Stephen has that we witnessed, if you, if you didn't watch it, go back and watch the beginning, but the energy Stephen has for this idea and that he's willing to put it on his own mother because he sees how much he's having an impact, that's the kind of energy and love that you need to have for your idea as well. Guys, thank you for the love. Uh, I'm going to get back to my Monday. Hopefully you took the energy from this and you pour it into making your dream, your idea a reality. Even if you take one small step today, do something that will make you proud of your effort today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Continue to believe. Much love, everybody.